Hello guys, in this video we will show you how to add and use the coupon directory feature in your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next, click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Under the edit, test and go live section, click on edit. In your edit app section, go to the menu on the top left and click on add feature. In this light out menu, click on view all to see the list of features. Search for the coupon directory feature and click on add feature to add it to your app. You will now see the coupon directory feature listed in my future section. When you hover over the future, you will see multiple options like high future, edit and customize future, and delete the future. For more options, click on the keep up menu on the right and explore the options to move the future up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the edit and customize feature option to see how we can edit the feature further. Here in the edit feature section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the feature in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the change icon section and this window will open up. Click on select icon where you will see multiple options for your icons. You can further choose to see any solid and outline options. In the select image section, you will see lo loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your coupon directory future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon stand out. In the content section, you will see categories and coupons already in the app. You can add coupons and categories to your coupon directory app by clicking here on the manage coupon button. After clicking on the button, you will see the manage coupon screen. On the sidebar menu, you will see the Manage Categories, Configuration Settings, Language Settings, and Coupon Logs. In the Manage Coupon section, click on Create Coupon button. On the Add Coupon screen, you will have a choice to select the type of coupon you want to add to your app. You can choose to go with a discount, buy and get free, and scratch and win. After choosing the discount coupon, you can add coupon cu details like the coupon name, a brief description of the coupon, and choose a category from the drop-down menu. You can customize categories and subcategories from the Manage Categories section. Click on the Image Upload field and a pop-up will appear from where you can select the image you want to use for your coupon. You can crop the image to match the size requirements, add the terms and conditions for the coupon. Check this box to deep link and add details including the URL, Click on the link icon and you can change the icon by selecting one from the icon library or upload your own. Next you can choose the discount type from the drop down menu and add details like discount percentage. In the validation section you can decide to choose to use redeem button, pin authentication or a promo code as the validation method. If you choose the read them, redeem button you can decide whether to make the coupon reusable or for single use. If you choose to use the PIN authentication method, you will have to add the PIN code before choosing whether the code is reusable or for single use only. Similarly, you will need to add a coupon code for the promo code option further. Further, you can check the box next to show scanner code type to further choose whether you want to use barcode or QR code for scanning. Further, you must enter the issue date and the date to which the coupon will remain valid. Choose whether you want the coupon to be active or inactive. Let's go to the buy and get coupon type. Here too you can choose to add a deep link, decide the details of your offer, and choose how you want the coupon to be displayed. Under the validation section you can decide whether you want to use a redeem button, pin authentication, or promo code, and add the rest of the de details. Now let's go to the scratch and win coupon type. Under the savings section, add a message for the lucky card to announce the price and set the odds for each by choosing the value from the drop down menu. Write the price announcement and upload an image from your device. You can crop the image to the right size and save it. You can add as many lucky cards as you want to your app and delete it easily by clicking on the delete icon. Just like the lucky card, you can also add it an unlucky add card. Add the odds, enter the message for the unlucky card, and upload an image by clicking on the field and choosing an image for the, for the card. Crop it and then save it. You can choose a validation method like pin or redeem button and fill in all the details and then click save. You will now see the coupon on the manage coupon screen. 
with the details like the cover image, coupon name, coupon type, category, subcategory, and status. Click on the ellipsis button on the right for more options like changing the status of the app to active, inactive, update category, delete coupon, or copy the link. Once you add multiple coupons, you can search for coupons by choosing different filters like coupon type, coupon status before selecting the action you want to take. Let's look at the manage category section where you will see a list of coupons and you can filter your view based on category status and select action based on your choice. You can also see critical details like category name, subcategories, and the number of coupons in the category. To add a new category, start by clicking on the add category button. Now add the category name, select whether you want to sort the coupons alphabetically or in a custom manner and choose whether you want the category to be active or inactive. Next, click on the plus icon in the thumbnail field and add an image from your device. Now click on the create category button. The category will be added to the list on the manage categories page. Click on the ellipsis menu on the right for more options like manage subcategories, making a category active, inactive, update category, or delete the category. Let's click on the manage subcategory section and then click on the add subcategory section. Add the name of the subcategory, select whether you want to sort the coupons alphabetically or in a custom manner and choose whether you want the category to be active or inactive. Next, click on the plus icon in the thumbnail field and add an image from your device. Once the image is uploaded, click on the create Subcag subcategory button and the subcategory will be added with the details like the subcategory name and the number of coupons. Click on the ellipsis menu on the right for more options like make the subcategory active, inactive, update the category, or delete it. Go to the manage category section and you will see the number of subcategory updated. Next, click on the configuration settings. Here you can add an admin, email address, and make choices like coupon sharing, show expired coupons, sort categories alphabetically, set a default image, show redeem coupons, and currency. Use the toggle button to make your choices, add a default image by clicking on the icon, and choose the currency from the drop down menu. Now go to the language settings section and check whether you want to add or edit any field. Click on coupon logs and you will get a record of the coupons. Click on go back and you will reach the edit feature screen. Now that we are done with the content section, let's move to the design section. In the page style and color scheme section, you can click here to see the multiple background image options provided by Appy Pie's platform, or choose a solid color or upload a custom image to be used as the app background. You can choose to use the same image for both portrait and landscape mode or use different ones for both. Scroll down and you would see the layout advanced settings, page element colors, font size, and indent settings. You can also choose to hide or show the border or hide or show the coupon type information with the toggle button. Next, go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with a simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can choose to use these credentials as global credentials. Moving on to the advanced settings section, in this section you can choose to show or hide the slide menu and enable or disable the back navigation button on the header menu. All the edits and changes will be saved automatically, but you can also save them manually as soon as you click publish. You will be, a you will be able to see all the changes immediately.